Think about how frustrating it can be when your flight is canceled due to mechanical issues and the next one out isn't till tomorrow or the next day. If you've been following the story of Boeing Starliner this summer, it's kind of been like that for two astronauts. NASA today detailed plans to bring that spacecraft home this weekend, but the astronauts, well, they're still on an extended tour. NASA on Wednesday detailing the plan to bring the beleaguered Boeing Starliner space capsule back to Earth without its two person crew. Today, the Boeing team powered on Starliner systems and performed a variety of pre undock activities, both on the systems and crew activities to get the capsule ready to come home. Tomorrow, Butch and Sonny will review procedures as they will be the ones closing the hatches between Starliner and the space station. Just after 6 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, Starliner is scheduled to undock from the International Space Station, leaving astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams in space as the capsule tracks for an early Saturday arrival. This will dip Starliner's orbit into our atmosphere and will allow it to land at White Sands, New Mexico, just after midnight Eastern. The Starliner carried Williams and Wilmore to the International Space Station on June 5th. The plan was for the two astronauts to return home in about a week but the Starliner suffered setbacks with helium leaks and five of its 28 thrusters stopped working. After extensive discussion, NASA ultimately decided to bring Starliner back to Earth without the crew on board, but expressed confidence Wednesday that the capsule itself can land. We have requirements for protecting the public as well, and so you know, we have confidence in the thrusters. We went and looked at the thruster performance. The astronauts will fly home with the crew of a SpaceX crew Dragon capsule that was already slated to make an ISS routine mission. Their return expected early next year. NASA said they wouldn't describe the two astronauts as stranded or stuck, saying that there were options to get them home. And NASA has said it intentionally designed its commercial program to have these spacecraft to be able to back each other up. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.